Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. We have some goodies today. Can you guess what it is? Oh yeah, I guess the thumbnail. You already know what it is. <laughs> Anyways, we have some new products in. Ah, some gorgeous, gorgeous colors here. We have Nail Reserve. Guys, if you are unfamiliar with Nail Reserve, this here is a 15 mil bottle. So it's a pretty, I would say your standard size um, bottle, your good size bottle, shall I say. So Nail Reserve, guys, just so you know, is vegan, 21 formula free and cruelty free. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous and healthy polish. Okay, so this is some colors that I got in. Look at that one. Oh my God. But this would be great for coming up for the fall, Christmas, right? Like just this beautiful, like almost like champagne-y pink vibe. But I thought for the season coming, it'd be such a great color. This is called Moonlight Glow. Gorgeous. I want to go with this one. This one is just making me want to go there. Um, this one's called a Romance. Look at that. They all are swatch topped, which you know I am a fan of. Very sticky. Ooh. That is gorgeous, too. Okay, guys, I do apologize. Here's the swatch for this one. I did go ahead and swatch it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I think you could do a lot of neat things with that one. Sorry, and that one is called Romance. And let's just take a quick look at Moon Glow, just so you have, we so can see what that looks. I hit the swatch there, don't mind that. <laughs> she happens. I do want to do nail art today, guys. That's why I went ahead and just pre-swatched, so we can use these in some actual nail art and kind of play with them a little bit. But I wanted you to see the glory of the colors. Now, the coverage on these are phenomenal. Two coats, that's all you need, right? Here is Kiss and Tell. Beautiful, beautiful, like baby blue, sky blue. I gotta do better with my swatches. What do we have here? Oh, you know me and some nudes. Royal nude. So I think this would be a really, really good, perfect nude for my skin tone. Oh, okay how creamy they are and this one is a here royal nude so the swatch is pretty perfect to what is actually in the bottle as well oh, I think that's gonna be like a good a good nude for my skin color kind of like a very pale little freckly you know what I mean type of vibe like that's like my <laughs> my skin tone so whatever you want to call that um so i don't know i think like more nudie or brownish tones look better on me than the pinkier sides if that makes sense is why it's harder for me i find for my my complexion i guess to find a good nude if that makes sense or that compliments me or i feel that does if that makes sense so here ooh, you don't even want to do it okay there you go. look at that OMG, this is called a magnet. And that is here. So this was, I did not file it down. I think I definitely would want to file it down uh, before that swatch, it was fine. But it is a chunky, chunky glitter. Again, I'm gonna use this a bit today, so I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. When you swatch it, you're just using it for three seconds. I can't really tell, so I don't wanna judge it off that. Uh, pink Princess. Actually, I thought this was like the perfect pink too, even for my complexion, because it almost has again the creamy brownie ish back undertone instead of so much of the harsher pink which i know this is pink princess but like i'm telling you this actually looks like such a good um nude for my skin my skin tone color more than this one actually which is a bit darker the lighters look better and it's not as pinky as you would think because even though it says pink madness i am definitely so excited about this one i think i'm going to use this for our base for some of them today because it I was gonna use this but I think that's a little darker I, you know what I'm gonna use this for some sand I think we're gonna do some beach nails what is this telling you like these polishes when I look at these I think just the blues and the glitter and the creams I'm getting like beach vibes this color I was like OMG this for the fall I think is going to be a must-have so this is called anyone but you 
this is going on my nails next like I it's staying out this is like okay how do I explain it? it's coming up a little bit more brown on the camera but it is a little bit more of like the mauvey like purpley like vibe you know what I mean or like I don't even describe it it does have a bit more of a purple undertone than you're seeing up there like that rosy oh god i don't know i just think it's going to be the perfect fall color um so it was a must-have when i was looking through i was like nope i need this one i don't care if i have everything similar i want please <laughs> so this i was really excited for because i think it'll just be a really go a good go-to i really like that color and again cute little packaging keep all that stuff or make sure you put it in your recycling just gonna set it over here guys oh look at this i'm so sorry i did it again pink madness um that right there right more of a nude vibe and then here this color anyone but you which i think is going to be the perfect perfect um autumn color and look at that on my skin complexion i think it's gonna look so pretty but this is the one i think would be great as like a nude on my skin complexion because the creamier white undertones do look better on my skin complexion rather this is good too though i think this will be a nice one as well but rather than the pinkier ones this is going to be a really good one for me too oh my god you guys got your colors on point sorry sorry i had a moment i had a moment i do apologize so these are the beautiful colors that we got in today from nail reserve like i said if you guys are interested in some healthier polish um polishes that do try to take out any of you know the extra chemicals that go the extra mile right so if you do have allergies and stuff like that go check them out i have a 50 percent discount code for you guys yes 50 percent. that is crazy um they do have vip members as well so you can become a vip and i think that automatically gets you 60 percent off so you save big there uh not that much i think it's around 30 dollars a month 29 i think look at them though oh they're so pretty um yeah so if you are interested to try a couple i always recommend get the top and base when you buy a brand polish because when your base coat you put it down it'll leave an inhibition layer now you leave that on normally to put your polish over it now because of this being the same brand as this they have similar formulas that work well together if i mix this brand let's just use this polish with this other thing over here, then you could have separation issues, you could have stuff like that, and then you could be like, oh my god, the polish isn't working well, da da da, and it's not the polish. It's actually because of the base layer's inhibition layer, it's uncured gel. So that uncured product is mixing with your other product, which can cause uh, a reaction basically and make it separate and do other things that it's not normally going to do. So it's always best to use a system. So if you're going to go check them out, guys, just quickly grab the top and base. We're going to use it today anyways. I really like their um, top and base. It's really nice. Uh, the top coat was a like, long lasting top coat. Um, and I think it's good just to use the brand's base, right? but let's get into some nail art shall we hey guys so we're gonna go in here and we're going to have two out of the five nails be this beautiful nice light soft pink is what their i think princess pink is what it's called their polish race. um gorgeous gorgeous color i think it's a beautiful nude to be honest in my personal opinion and that baby blue is gorgeous um again i move fast on here <laughs> so i'm gonna put the blue over the baby blue after it's cured and i'm gonna do like little swirls i think i was trying to after the fact almost do like a mermaid tail vibe um but i didn't start that way i started with just a whole whack of swirls almost as you would do a gel effect with a dotting tool and then it's kind of neat what it does because i have the lighter blue color underneath it you'll actually see that pop through so i'm, I'm wanting the line definition with this nail i think that'll just i don't know i was like oceany vibe feel i thought of it i, I kind of like the way that turned out let me know what you think so i'm just going to go ahead and do that make sure you get all your lines anything like that guys before you put it in the lamp once you put it in the lamp she is cured i like the way that looks though okay on to the next this nail again i'm going to use this gorgeous pinky type of vibe it gives me sand i don't know why it's like a dirty sand vibe and sand comes in multiple shades and when you look at it it has like a coppery and just different vibes to it so i really wanted that for this one so i'm going to use the advantage of the clear underneath and i'm going to do a similar effect that i just did but way messier i'm just going to go woo 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 all over the nail literally in little circles just to really give it like a texture and i love the way that that looks it does to me it makes it look 
almost like a dirty sand background, right? And once I add stuff to it, it will definitely bring that out a little bit more. So here on these ones, I'm just going to do a little bit of a glitter fade. Now I'm going to use this gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. And I'm just going to finally put it on the tip and I will work my way up with a brush. Also with this, I've decided that I think I'm going to go in and grab a little bit of glitter like I have a potted glitter and again I want to go more sand vibes beachy vibes is where I'm going so I wanted to bring some of the golder and maybe copper and those type of tones into these two nails so with that potted glitter I will achieve that look so with this pot of glitter here just a random one a random mix <laughs> in the million mixes in my drawer um but again it can just add so much definition to an already beautiful polish but because the polish is such a silver base i needed to bring in some of the gold and coppery tones that i feel sand and beach bring to me in my brain so i think that just helped helped it and complemented it uh, just a little bit there so now i'm gonna go do like the main nail and the main nail i want it to be like the water crashing upon shore so i love doing this technique i think it's just so cute <laughs> but i'm going to ombre these two colors together now how i like to ombre is i like to butt my two colors together that means they're not actually touching and then i'll get a very dry brush this is dry nothing on it and i just tap it together and it does take off quite a bit of product you'll notice but it thins the product out in a very specific way that it helps not get that bulk when you're ombre and you try to ombre the two colors. Sometimes I notice you get that line or like a bulk or something. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, it kind of helps with that, right? So I, do, I find you don't get it when you do it this way. Um, but again, it's just one way to try. But the dryness of the brush is key. So I do it twice. Um, the, the sand and the water, I apologize. I do it twice the same way. And if you notice here, there is almost like a little line in between them that you kind of feel like is not really even being touched. It's like you kind of just see the, t the colors coming together. And trust me, this is the big purpose of not to get that bulky line. Now I've gone in and cured that one again. So, okay, well, we're going to get back to that one. I guess we're going over to glitter fade. <laughs> glitter fades. So, okay, we're going to tighten up the glitter a little bit. It happens when you lay glitter down. Um, it can come on the edges. The best time to do that is before you top coat. So get in there, any of your edges get that. The best files for that is a metal file or a wooden file work best. They won't, um, they won't rough up your nail. They won't eat into your nail as much. They're a little bit finer. So work really, really well for that. So now we're going to, oh, we're going to top coat. Okay, so that's these nails. I think I just leave these nails just as a gl glitter fade, just to have something kind of cute and complimentary. The other nails are pretty busy, so we want to have some sort of toned down nail on this. Um, and again, when top coating glitter, it's always good to flip your nail. It's honestly always good to flip your nail all the time. It will help make the top coat not pull on your sidewalls and bring it to the middle, which will make you have a beautiful arch and not a chubby wide nail. Um, just a little tip. Now with finishing up this ombre, I'm only taking my blue now, so our sand is perfectly fine, our tip down there is fine. What we're really using this blue for is that last seamless blend. So now we're going to go a bit farther down, past that little edge, or that clear way we were seeing the whole way there, and bring the blue down a little bit into the creamy color sand, and that will just give a more even uh, ombre. I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of our blue color with a little bit of base coat and give it a really good mix and you almost want to make like a jelly. Now I'm going to use that as the water texture vibe. I'm trying to create like how you see the white white water crash upon shore, how it looks like that really when it uh, when you see it on the beach. So that I'm going to create that with using a bubble effect. So I want to use my base coat is really what I need to use uncured. Remember, we're not curing nothing yet. Uh, and we want to put it on there. Now, you don't want to go too thick. You want to keep it um, medium consistency here. You don't want to be too thin or you won't really get your texture. So we're going to put our bubbles over that and we're going to pop it in the lamp. Our bubble solution is 90% water, 10% alcohol, and literally a smidge of Dawn dish soap. And that's it. Um, so here, all set out, it's kind of neat. Once you cure it, it leaves like this bubble kind of texture. It's kind of neat. So I'm going to just clean it up again, clean up your edges with your file, wipe off any solution. Now I'm going to use that same mix and I'm just going to go to the back and pull the blue back a little bit just to give a little bit of texture. So it kind of looks like the water is moving and it's not just like a still thing. Um, be careful with the, using any of uh, polish or anything around your bubbles. You can easily go over them and you'll lose your texture. So when 
top coating it's very very important and you'll see me I think go in and take some top coat out even to keep the texture I'm gonna go put my little turtle like he washed upon shore I just use a I think I use born pretty uh, glue to be honest to put that down and then again on this nail I'm going to just place some seashells little uh, just different stuff like that uh, I think we have some seashells in here uh, I know we have some starfish in the middle so we just have a couple little pieces like that guys that I'm just gonna go ahead and place around just to try to get like this shelly vibe <laughs> so here we are we just did some kind of like beach vibe here in Canada like our summer is basically done <laughs> like we're we're done <laughs> it is the beginning of September very very shortly um, like in two days here so our summer is done so I thought I would just do some cute little beach vibes I really like the way that these turned out they're so cute I really like them thank you so much nail reserve i truly appreciate you sending me out some goodies i hope you guys do go give them a try use the 50 percent discount code i'll put that in the description below for you guys they're really gorgeous polishes to work with so pretty thank you guys so much make sure you hit that subscribe give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye